it's not only STEM schools that is free in Ghana. We actually have TV schools, STEM schools, creative art schools, the normal British standard schools. So let me know in the comment section which one we are you privileged to attend. So on this video, I'll be talking about the importance of TV schools, how it has improved Ghana's economy, like drastically. You guys, literally, whenever I, I, I Whenever I make inquiry and hear things about schools, it pushes me too much because a lot of African countries, we are, we are not, like they weren't able to enjoy the benefits of a good standard schools just like Ghanaians. So today we'll be talking about how TV schools has actually improved Ghanaians, Ghanaians economy. And in case if you are watching, if you are not a Ghanaian watching and you don't know what TV schools means, the purpose of technical and vocational education and training is to equip people with the technical and professional skills needed for socio-economic and industrial development of the country. The emphasis is on training people for self-employment. There's nothing like self-empowerment. In Nigeria, it's known as Said, and it is most times, you know, promoted during NYC program because a lot of people are out of jobs. So if you are able to acquire self-worth, self enquirement this is going to help you most times in your general well-being okay and also help the economy to progress well this is the first time uh, most of us are, are getting to see this um, industrialized uh, machine and uh, most of them that um, you see them and we just see them in books but since um, we have these uh, machines um, available and we will and we'll be able to uh, to work with them the emphasis in, is on training people for self-employment. The importance of TVET to the economy is that it promotes science and technology and its curriculum design and delivery to meet the labor market. Literature reviewed indicated that the government of Ghana recognizes the strengthening of TVET as a means of developing the technical and skilled human resources based which the nation needs urgently as a key strategy for achieving its industrial development. It was rooted that to achieve this objective requires a policy framework and direction as well as a radical shift in the design and delivery of the TVET curriculum at all levels. So you guys, let's quickly talk about how the importance of these TV schools to Ghanaian's economy as a whole. The importance of these TV schools can never be overemphasized. Indeed, technical and vocational education is a major agent for industrial development as well as social progress of any country. Without skilled technical manpower produced by the polytechnics, technical and vocational institutions for industry, commerce, and agriculture, national development would visually grind to a standstill. In Ghana, the case of education, especially technical and vocational education training, that's TVET, is over overwhelming both in terms of fulfilling human security and as an investment with high, very high returns. This is actually an investment with very high returns. There's nothing like you you know promoting a standard of education in your country it gives a lot of people out of streets okay so you know education is a fundamental human right and it is necessary for social economic development of society so this is a means to fulfillment of an individual and transfer of values from one generation to another we all know that one of the major reasons why african countries are being termed or tagged poor is the fact that a lot of people a lot of individuals are currently out of like are currently on the streets these guys has absolutely nothing to worry about but by Ghanaian's government to be thoughtful to be willing to be intentional about creating these TVET schools in Ghana it has actually brought brought about a lot of drastic development to the country a lot of people people are off the streets you know there's nothing like you being self-empowered they have some things like plumbing work tailoring work carpentry work you know there's nothing like people complaining of because the worst thing that can happen to a country is when there is no job and when people are not self-empowered they all go out out of the streets and then keep causing havoc here and there, chaotic society, stealing, you know, engaging in fraud, engaging in critical things that will bring the country's name to the mud or pull down the economic of the country. But by introducing these TV schools, you guys, and for the fact that it is free, the government of Ghana has actually realized that, um, you know, if they can make this thing free for people to attend, they have both from 
small to tertiary polytechnic university level and these things are free one of the things that made me i got my attention to this school is the fact that it is free there's nothing like you providing free things for people free things for the society even if you're not a Ghanaian, just obtain ghana card and you'll be able to enjoy whatever thing that Ghanaians are enjoying I know that we also have this type of school in Nigeria, we have it in other countries. But the thing that, because I made my research, I noticed that it's, it is in all countries in the whole world. But for the fact that that of Ghanaians is being, that of Ghana is highly equipped, they have both ICT labs that are well functioned, functioning, they have the classrooms that are equipped, they have the writing materials, they have um computers shared to the students they have skilled teachers that are willing to sacrifice themselves to teach the children what they need to know it's what emulating you guys literally i love the fact that you know most times when people when the government makes things free they tend to reduce the standard of that thing but for the fact that the Ghanaian government has actually made this free and at the same time it is well equipped is what that drew my attention as a nigerian you guys literally Ghanaians don't know what they have been enjoying for years so i'm going to be analyzing i'm also going to be bringing to your notices other TV schools in Ghana, I'll be making, I'll be, you know, researching on it, bringing it so that other countries can see this, okay? So that other countries will, will appreciate Ghana the more. So they will see the importance of good leadership. So they will see the importance of you having uh, intentional leaders that carry education for heads. Like, first thing first, they have... They know the importance of good education so this is it if you have other comments to drop under this post if i keep reading about tv schools it is on and on their visions their missions are all genuine and it's for the betterment of the country so i'm also going to be analyzing on other schools to bring it to your notice so you guys get to watch this and also let me know your honest opinion in the comment section like i said before one thing that attracted me to this is free f-r-e-e -E, free even if these things are free in other countries, a token is being attached to it. Or the level of these things will not be standard. Let me know your journey thoughts in the comment section. You're watching our cut with Uju. On this channel, we analyze things. We share minds together. We rub minds together. And we analyze things properly. So do well by hitting the subscribe button to be part of this family. Mostly things happening in Ghana and in Nigeria. I love you guys and I don't take your love for granted. I will see you all in my next video. Stay happy, be kind and be blessed. Bye guys.